These days, we may not want to spend too much money buying new clothes or shoes, but we, do we have to replace these things? Let's find out. Early show consumer correspondent Susan Copen is here. Good morning. Good morning. First, come here. Come here. <laughs> look how great you look. Look okay, at this well, here, amazing, let me get the side view. spectacular. You see that? Yeah. Right? Um, you, you know you're large yeah. when your parents call and say, are you sure you're not having twins? Are you sure? I'm positive. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it'll be, gonna... it'll be a pleasant surprise if two come out, but uh, no, as of now, it's just one. Right, so you're doing well. Yeah. Can you make it through this I'm... segment? Little trouble breathing. <laughs> we'll get through it, Harry. <laughs> we'll get through it together. So the first thing you say in these hard economic times is the th person we need to make really good friends with <laughs> is our tailor. Yeah, become friends with the tailor. Mm -hmm. So, for example, we took this dress. Mm -hmm. We had a bridesmaid's dress that we totally transformed. We have a before picture. I want you to see what this dress looked like before. Okay, right. there's the before. Okay. It was over $300. Mm -hmm. This was two years ago. Right. Took it to the tailor. You know, you're not going to wear that dress again. The person no. who owned this dress said it was sitting in the back of their closet. Right. And ah. we want to pan down a little bit. We made it short. Yeah. We cut out all of the tool, all mm -hmm. of the material. So it's How a much? nice, sleek dress. $85 to transform it totally. And now you have a little black dress. And now you have a cute little right. black dress that yeah. you're going to probably wear again. Wear forever and ever and ever. What's all this over this here? This is all the stuff we cut out. This oh, is all okay. the extra oh, stuff Oh, that's all the leftover out. stuff. Now this, this, I think, here? is really cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when you go shopping, if you are going to buy something new, don't be afraid to shop the clearance rack, right. and don't be afraid to shop something that's not your size. Ah. So I found this wedding dress yes. for $15 on clearance. Really? It was a very large size. Uh -huh. It was stuffed way in the back. Yeah. I took it to the tailor yeah. for $20. They made it a nice, sleek dress. Wow, because that looks like like some evening thing. Yeah, and now right? the really cool thing about this, it's white. Mm -hmm. So say you do wear it to your wedding right. or you wear it to some event sure. where you can get away with a white dress. Uh -huh. You then take it to the tailor again. Right. You dye it black. You cut it off, and it's a cocktail dress. Wow, that's really good. We yeah, like come that on. A lot. For, for less than $40, yeah. you have a full-length yeah. gown. Do you want to catch your breath here a second? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> okay, the next person you really want to make friends with, and I, you know what? I really do need to get these fixed, but... I even I have this problem. All right. You got to get cozy with the cobbler. Yeah, because I've got uh, right. We used to do this all the time when I was a kid. Oh, you do. Get new those. soles you on your shoes. Repair. Okay, so right? I love these men's shoes in the front. Take a look yeah. at these. These belong yeah. to one of our producers, Dan. Mm -hmm. Loves them. He paid over two hundred dollars for these. Right. Look at this thing. I mean, yeah. it was falling just apart. falling apart. Okay. okay. So for half that price, new we heels took it, and shoes. Took, so. took it to the cobbler yeah. and had it totally transformed. Mm -hmm. And he is just so happy because these were his favorite shoes. And now, and now he's going to wear them again. Yeah. They've been sitting in his closet. He's okay. not going to wear them. Real quick, what about these things? Twenty bucks just to get a pair of boots, mm -hmm. totally clean. Redone. Up and redone. Very nice. How would you know when is the time to replace something like this? Okay, vacuum repair? cleaner. Actually, if you have a vacuum cleaner that's broken, yeah. if it's um, under seven years, mm -hmm. a repair can be really cheap, 25 right. to 100 bucks. Oh, so it's okay. worth repairing a vacuum okay, cleaner. Okay, if it's young. If it's young. Yeah, if it gets yeah. old, then it gets over complicated. Over seven years, replace it. All right, what about a computer? Laptop, yeah. four years or older, you yeah. should replace it. Consider recycling. Yeah. Some companies will actually give you money towards the purchase of a new yeah, one. Yeah, absolutely recycle computer yeah. products. Products. And finally, with an, an iPod, iPod, they can range in price from fifty to two hundred and fifty dollars right. to get it repaired. And if it's so less than it's, a year old, there is a year warranty on mm -hmm. it, but you have to pay shipping and handling. So the cost to repair it is probably going to cost more than buying a new one. Yeah, and you know, if you don't drop them, right? They can and last. don't run over them in a car. <laughs> or drop them in the toilet or something that. like that. How about a hand for Susan Copen, everybody? Thank you. Very nice. Thank you. Very good. Very good. <laughs>